Hey, you could someone here. So here's a, a video which has been uh, requested um, by uh, by somebody on my um, request uh, video in a comment. Uh, it's by Randy Bryson. I've asked him just a couple of questions, and um, he's got back to me. I basically this is just uh, some information he's given me on on the on the footage and uh, and here this is what I asked him how did you did you film it uh, what happened you know leading up to the filming he didn't give me much of an answer but uh, still something and I don't really want to uh, wait too long to um, I'd rather get this rolling and uh, get it out there make it be what you will so there's no audio. In the in the footage, um, you see the camera was broken at the time. No sound. Big Red picked up the younger one and went down the cliff after they saw me. This was a gifting area at the time, so he's, he's saying that uh, there was, I guess, a younger one there, and the uh, the larger um, Red uh, Bigfoot came uh, to pick up the uh, the younger one. Uh, probably wasn't happy. And that it was um, around near the humans and um, went back on the cliff. Uh, been in the mountains with our Sasquatch for 50 years now. Well, it's a long time. I saw him grow up with a few others. They were always around back then. We would gift them and my son would leave toys and stuff that they took. A family of them, about seven, that would come around most days. They loved my drum and flute, so they would mimic it too. Good times. Okay, so I'll just play this um, on on a loop. In in the in the in the video, the original here, at this part, if you can see, I've cut this. Um, I've split the video here. Huh, split the video. Um, split the um, film here. Uh, because uh, there's quite a while where he, uh, this uh, subject is behind the tree uh, and you can't see anything so I've split that and basically it just looks like he's continuing like uh, one motion there and then going straight down but actually there was a time period here where he was uh, I started with this creature was um, just waiting behind the tree for I don't know maybe 20 seconds or so something like that but to um, to stabilize like 20 seconds is like it takes about an hour uh, to do uh, depending on on the frame rate etc so yeah I'll play, I'll play this on uh, enlarge the screen So yeah, um, it's just one of those uh, videos where you can't really tell what's going on, you know, whether it's genuine or not. You know, um, due respect to the to the owner. Um, like I've always said, uh, if, if it was me, if I filmed something, I wouldn't expect people to believe me, and that's okay. That's up to them, you know. Um, so he did say that uh, it was carrying something, and it does appear to be carrying something, the way it's walking, like kind of struggling to walk there, carrying something heavy. Clearly very, um, very blurry, as you can see. The uh, the walking motion is quite interesting to me anyway. But uh, as it's uh, old footage and very blurry, there's not really much we can gain from this. Just, uh, you know, interesting anyway. There was a, um, I think he went, uh, um, Michael Merchant has done a video on this and he's he has a comparison there, but I don't think it's very accurate. The comparison photo, which I guess Randy took, um, wasn't really accurate. It wasn't in the same place, uh, you know, good enough really to, uh, to make an accurate, um, Comparison, like height comparison, etc. So I didn't didn't bother with that. 
Okay, we'll go into this uh, these photos now, which which I, I find quite interesting. I like the. Uh, for me, I get a good feeling about this. I don't know about you guys. Um, I know that there there are some kind of rumors uh, going around that it, it uh, somehow it's fake or I don't know, um, kind of a mask or something. I don't know. I just get a good feeling about the the actual. You know. The, the actual face for me it uh, just looks interesting and uh, it feels genuine to me I don't know I'm not saying it is I, I, you know as an analyst I'm, I'm not gonna come right out and say that this is a uh, you know genuine or, or not genuine and also what I found interesting so these are two separate frames um, so what's happened here is um, I don't know which one he's taken first, I guess this one, I guess. I put these lines as a guide for the, you know, just to match up the the two. Um, what's, what I found, when I first saw this image, I looked over here and, for, and looked at this, this kind of um, brownish, um, dark kind of thing, and I just, Automatic, you know, yeah, we. I know a lot of people would say, would say things like that. They even say this to me all the time. Oh, look at this one. There's one there. Why didn't you um, analyze this one, or why didn't you um, zoom in on this one? Blah blah blah. You know, and and uh, and I always tell them, yeah, you know, it's parallelian, etc. Um, but anyways, I'm just saying that I thought that could be like a younger one, especially when you have when you have one like this, which is clearly a face, whether it's real or not. So if you if you have something like this in the image in the background, um, it does kind of add credibility to to the main image, the main uh, subject. Um, that is, if you can prove that this is real. So the good thing is we have two two images here, but the problem is. Um, See, I, I, I mean, I know in the moment you never know how you're going to react, or you know how you're going to, you might even be a professional photographer. <laughs> you never know how you're going to react. So this person, so Randy has, I guess it was, yeah, Randy you took the photo, has moved to the left. As you can see here, there's a kind of a gap there uh, compared to this one. So this has gone, um, this tree here has gone to the right of the stump. Well, as we're facing it, which means uh, Randy's uh, the camera person has moved to move to the left. So that means this um, dark um, uh, object here in the background, which could have been a younger one, a younger individual hiding, um, has moved behind this tree because the camera has moved to the left again. And this, I don't mean this actually uh, got up and moved. I mean it's actually. It's still in the same place, but the camera has moved, so it's now behind this tree here. So that's a bit of a shame because if, if it was in the same place on the second image, then we would we would uh, be able to see whether it's moved or not. Uh, but now, as it's behind this tree, see you can just about see here um, the uh, this tree, I think. This tree, which is next to that smaller, here we go. So this tree, which is next to uh, the right side of that smaller object, is is this tree here, which uh, which means that object, uh, that shape, that um, object is behind this tree. So we don't know whether it's moved or it's still there behind that tree, which would have given us uh, some a little bit more proof that. If this did move, and, it, and the image was in the same place, you know, and it, it was gone in the second image, then that would have been good. Uh, but we, we can't we can't see that. Um, this I thought this could be like the um, the, uh, the shoulder, but then then again I thought. Uh, secondly, I thought uh, on the other hand, it's probably just where the the leaves are parting. And uh, we can see, see the uh, part of the uh, the shape of this subject through the hole, through the leaves. Um, 
Anyway, just thought I'd enhance that for you. Uh, here's uh, Igor Bursev. <laughs> Very difficult name to pronounce. Sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly. And here's uh, Randy there. Um, let's put these uh, guides up again. I matched the uh, size up as much as I could. Um, don't think it's still not completely accurate. But and then someone has um, see see with, with this um, possible uh, Sasquatch here. Just enlarge that a bit. It's standing right on the edge here, on the edge of the stump, behind and behind. Which for me would be um, would be in this in this groove here, I think, because this is the end. This is the left side of the stump, and when uh, facing uh, us, which would mean, uh, to me anyway, it, it would be standing here. Um, and then this person has done um, a comparison. And I don't, I'm just trying to work out how this person is so big um, compared to the stump and compared to um, compared to uh, Randy and Eagle and the um, the alleged Sasquatch. For me, that's quite strange. Why is he so big? So I don't know. That's so tall. Um, well, when, when we look here, we can well, when we look here, we can see um, that the there is a bit of an incline there. There's a bit of a it's going up upward slightly. So would that would that make uh, that much of a difference with um, with the height? I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it would. So uh, basically, basically all this means uh, could mean that. Um, that this that this Sasquatch is basically um, you know average human human height. Um, I think this person is taller than Randy, but still just maybe a couple of inches. Um, or is this person um, been photoshopped into this image? That was another thing which I I mean looking at this, he kind of has an outline, um, or is that his hat? Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but like I say, uh, looking at this here, the end. Um, this person is standing on the end, on the edge of the stump, as is the uh, the alleged Sasquatch, which would be here, which would be. Uh, this is the edge of the stump, so that would mean it would be standing here, I guess. If it was here, it would be quite difficult to stand. Or maybe as Randy is doing one leg um, behind this area and one leg here. Um, anyway, it's, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. You know. Um, anyway, I just thought it was an interest, interesting image. I've seen it around before and I'm sure you have too. Uh, I do like it. And also the video looks interesting to me. Not enough to say whether it's real or not. But still, interesting. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.